Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be setting up my bullet journal for March and this is gonna be quite clumsy, so brace yourselves and let's get started. So my theme for this month is gonna be Winnie the Pooh. I'm gonna have my spreads kind of centered around the four characters that you see on my cover page. Uh, it's a pretty cute theme. I've been wanting to do it for a long time and when I finally got around to it, I wasn't particularly happy about the way it turned out. But either way, I'm gonna let you be the judge of that. I am using a Sakura Pigma Micron fine liner to outline all the characters on the front page. This doodle was quite complicated because I've never actually drawn so many characters in one single place, but I think in the end it looks pretty fine. Um, if you want any more details about the supplies that I'm using, they're gonna be listed down below in the description box. And in my opinion, this is where things start to go south, mainly because I don't think I chose the right colors to color in these characters. I wanted to go for a more, I guess, pastel-ish vibe, but obviously that didn't happen for some reason. And I think the shades that I chose are way too dark for the whole theme. But either way, it's done now. We can go back in time and redo it. So. Yeah, I think it doesn't look bad necessarily, but it also doesn't look the way I expected it to. This month, alongside my Tumble Duo brush pens, I also used quite a lot of um, Crayola Super Tips, which I love, but they are a complete disaster. Um, they're very watery in a way, and so smudging happens quite a lot, which happened to me this month as well. I don't think it's visible on camera, but I can guarantee you that if I did a close-up, you'd see all the little mess-ups that I've done. I am coloring in the last couple of details and then I'm moving on to the lettering which I have to admit I'm not a very big fan of. When I did it in pencil it looked so pretty and so cartoonish but when the real thing started happening it actually looked quite disastrous in my opinion. And now it's time to move on to my quote page which I actually quite enjoy surprisingly. I uh, drew a bunch of honey related doodles a butterfly, a flower, you know, all the cute stuff. And then the actual quote, which reads, I'm not lost for I know where I am, but however where I am might be lost, which is obviously a Winnie the Pooh quote. I'm using both a fine liner and a gel pen for this part, because for some reason I'm finding it a lot easier these days to do calligraphy using a gel pen. And now we're moving on to my calendar spread and my one line a day kind of thing. You'll notice during this theme that I dedicated every spread to a certain character. And we're starting off with Piglet, which is my absolute favorite character of all time. I love everything about it and I just had to start with it. I also just got a new ruler for the sake of making the video more aesthetic. But honestly, it's so hard to use it. I think I'm gonna just give up at this point. Piglet was so fun to draw and I'm starting off with the doodle on my right side. I'm gonna color it in and then we're gonna move on to the next one. Thank you. 
even though I previously said that the shades I used for coloring in the characters aren't particularly the best, I think for this character, they're absolutely perfect. I think they match the original character so well. And now we're moving on to my second doodle of this spread, which is Piglet just hanging around in a basket full of flowers, which is so typical, I think. I'm adding some shading here and there and then it's time to move on to the flowers and I try to keep things as diverse as possible even though I didn't exactly know what colors I could use for them um, in order to actually stay on theme and to, you know, respect my initial color palette. I am now moving on to the heather, which actually didn't turn out so bad this time. And then I am gonna outline the flowers that you see all around. And, you know, I'm gonna color in the doodles that kind of tie the whole spread together. I also had to add some butterflies because I absolutely love them. And I think they look so cute. They might actually be my favorite part of this theme. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to keep things simple and not struggle to pick out a new color for these doodles, so I used purple and the same pink shade that I used for coloring Piglet in. What I'm doing now is highlighting the weekends, mainly because it just gives me a better overlook of the whole entire week, and then it's time to number everything, and I was very careful with this part because I usually mess up. One thing that I also realized is that I added an extra row on my calendar, which is completely unnecessary and you can see my hand kind of confused there for a moment. Another spread is done and we're moving on to my trackers, which are quite gloomy, I'll give you that. And I decided to not include the boring parts of me just lining everything, so I did that off camera and now we're moving directly onto outlining the doodles, which are so adorable. And this spread, as you can see, is dedicated to Ior, which growing up was quite a mysterious character to me, but now I totally and completely relate to him. It's now time to color him in and once again you can see that this shade is a little bit too dark but to be honest it kind of fits in the context of this spread and I am absolutely obsessed with this doodle. I think it's the cutest I've ever done. I really love the little teddy bear that he's holding. And as a reminder, I'm going to leave the codes for all the markers that I'm using down below because I know it can be quite frustrating to not have a list of supplies in case you want to get inspired.
If Ior was quite happy in the last role that we did, he's no longer that happy. Um, you know, he's being rained on, everything is just really gloomy about him. But you know, I like that, I appreciate it. And one thing that I also really enjoy about this doodle is the cloud that I did. Oh my god, I really love it and I think I'm actually gonna dedicate a whole theme to a bunch of these clouds. They look so cute and they're also so easy and fast to draw. I also included a quote because I think Ior has the nicest quotes of them all. And this one says, the nice thing about rain, said Ior, is that it stops eventually. And I think that's the perfect quote to put around your mood trackers. When I began coloring these in, I actually got lost in the process a little bit and I started thinking about them as tears, but they're not tears, they're raindrops and I think they just tie everything together. I tried to include some sort of element that was specific to every character and you'll see that throughout the spreads. Looking back at it, I know I said that I hate the lettering that I did this month, but to be honest, I'm starting to realize that maybe the messy look of it adds to the cartoonish vibe and i think that's the whole point of this theme really to kind of get lost in the weenie the pooh universe which is the definition of cartoonish if you ask me And now it's time to move on to my very trustworthy playlist and review spreads. I already lined everything so you don't have to watch me during that really boring and really long process. And now I am highlighting the section that will be dedicated to my thoughts at the end of the month, kind of like a reflection in retrospect. It could also include memories, gratitude, you know, everything. <laughs> As you may or may not have noticed, this spread is dedicated to Tiger, and I know his name is not pronounced that way, um, I just find it so much more natural to say it that way for some reason, so yeah, I hope it doesn't bug anyone out too much, it kind of bugs me out to be honest, but you know, I just can't get myself to say it that way, it's just weird. I think the doodles of him turned out the best, actually, for some reason. Um, I was quite stressed about it at first, but I think in the end he ended up being my favorite character of this theme. I think this one in particular is the cutest doodle ever, just look at him enjoying life and with that cute butterfly on his tail, I just love it so much, I think it looks so cute, it came out so well as well, no squiggly lines, you know, no smudging, everything went so smooth. One really good thing about this theme is that it allowed me to use some of the markers that I've actually never used before. If you've been around for a little while, you know that I tend to shy away from any bright colors, unfortunately, and I'm focused more on the pastel ones. Uh, but this month, I actually had to use all these really bright and bold shades, especially with this character in particular, because as you can see, the yellow and the orange almost look neon, if you ask me. Even though purple doesn't exactly match his whole vibe, I decided to keep the butterflies and all the little doodles around him purple just to keep the theme compact since I've made them purple in all the previous spreads as well. I 
I am just finishing up the lettering and it's time to move on to the first weekly spread of March. Just as before, I have lined everything off camera and now we can peacefully move on to the doodle. As you can see, for my weekly spreads, I decided to not only focus on one single character, uh, but instead I'm gonna be concentrating on three of them, which are Piglet, Winnie the Pooh, and Ayur. I feel quite bad for Tiger, I have to admit, but you know, he'll get his own weekly spread. Off topic, but the red shade that I'm gonna use for Winnie's shirt is such a strong shade. I honestly don't know what they put in this marker, but it is the strongest and the boldest shade I think I've ever used, ever, in my whole entire life, and I think I've used quite a lot. And the second doodle of the spread gives Ayur a little break because as you can see it only includes Piglet and Winnie the Pooh and they look like such good friends, I really wish I was Christopher Robin sometimes. I am now highlighting two sections, one for goals and one for affirmations. I don't really believe in manifestation, but I'm just calling it that for the sake of it. And instead of the classical circles that I would normally use for writing down the days of the week, I decided to include these flower doodles, which just make everything look a lot cuter, in my opinion. And that was my video for today. I really hope you enjoyed this theme. I hope you felt inspired by it or maybe that it just awakened the inner child in you. Don't forget that I'm posting all of these spreads on Instagram and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.